So oh, now it's 1998. But when you look back upon 1997, and uh, 1997, the year in music, England had a pretty good year. On, I, I think that on almost every uh, rock journalist's favorite 1997, you find names like The Verve and Radiohead, of course. But uh, one of the best records from last year, I think, was Spiritualized. Ladies and gentlemen, we are floating in space. And I uh, went to see them in Oslo, and they were great. So go and check them out if they're playing in your hometown. So why don't we take a closer look on Spiritualized? Um, I've got a German car, which um, I would say is the best car in the world. It's a 1969 Ford 17M RS, which uh, with a V6 engine which really kicks off at the Autobahn. It's a comfy one. Yeah. Very comfortable. Very cool. And as a part-time punk rocker, I could also mention that Switzerland had a pretty good punk scene in the 70s. Maybe some of uh, some of the more intellectual uh, punk rock viewers have heard of the Nasal Boys, which you can find on the Feel Lucky Punk compilation. But now, let's uh, let's look at the contemporary Swiss scene. Then it's Greece, the cradle of democracy. And of course, famous for the Greek nose, which plays an important part of my family's physique, you can see right here. And of course, thinkers, great thinkers and philosophers. And also gods, strong gods. You know, our percussion player, he played the congas, he played the tambourine. He's big, he's strong, and he has a great physique. And we call him Hercules, named after the Greek god Hercules. And uh, there are a lot of other gods to mention, and, but uh, just walk into any gay shop or, uh, or look through any erotic magazine and you will find a lot of imageries picked from the, from the Greek mythology. The other day we played in Austria. Austria is a country that is suffering the, the very painful withdrawal from uh, being an empire in the past. So uh, I think the Austrian people are really strange, really obscure. It's hard to put your finger on an Austrian. It's easy with Germans because they're pretty... But... Um, I mean, Austria, what can you say? I mean, when it comes to music, all I can think of is the Yodel. Yodel, little lolly. And uh, like the Euro Boys, we have a lot, wide range of influences. We're picking and choosing this and that from almost every genre. You know, it's a little surf, it's a little easy, it's uh, it's a little psychedelic, it's a little heavy, it's a little groove, it's a little funky, it's a little soulful, it's a little electronic, and it's, uh, it's rocking as hell. But, I mean, we would never, ever incorporate the yodel in our sound.
then it's Italy. Um, you know, they have been uh, instrument makers for hundreds of years, accordions and things like that. And um, in the 60s, 60s, they really kicked off. And um, every, more or less every organ is, um, all the parts are um, made in Italy. And of course, many organs, like the Farfis organ. And uh, also some really cool, cool guitars, like, for example, the Echo guitar. And now, we like to play a song from our new album. It's called Jet Age, and you can buy it here tonight. It's a love song. It's called Girlfriend in Tacoma.
once again, my name is Knut. My name's The Kid. And we are right now representing the Euroboys. And uh, we've been your hosts for tonight's edition of Wawa. And I hope you enjoyed our ride across Europe. And now stay tuned for the Wawa mix. Half an hour with music non-stop. No.